Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and in this particular topic, right, in this particular course for this whole uh, outcome, what you're just going to learn is about the list, okay. Now today in this particular video and in the upcoming 2-3 videos in this particular course, right, so we have some subtitles, some modules, right, so in that basically now the turn has come for the learning about the list, okay. Now we'd be seeing that basically what are lists, okay. Now what are lists basically, why are they used in Python programming, right. What is the like way of using it? Why they are used and all that things we're just gonna see in this list, right? So before like starting for this particular list topic, what I would just do is that I would just like uh, write the name for the topic for this video and that one is the list, okay? So it's L I S T. Now when I have just told you about the data types, right? So in that I have just told you that list is also one of the data types, right? List is also a data type which we have in Python programming. So in that data types were about the, uh, they were like, like integer, then character, right? Integer, string, float, and all these were there, right? So in that we have listed about three more that will list tuple and dictionary. So now we are just going to discuss about the list or basically what it is. Now, you can say list is a data type which stores multiple objects in it that can store multiple data types. Now, just listen to my words very carefully and if you just want to take the notes of all these things, then just have a note, okay? Because these are the very important things which I'm just going to tell you right now about the list. Fine. So, lists are basically, uh, lists are some, uh, you can say some variables, okay? When you just declare a list, so inside that list, what you can just do is that you can just store multiple data types. Right now, what we have seen, okay? Till now, what we have seen? We have seen that A is a variable in which you can store a value, right? You can you cannot just put a comma and store some other things. No, you cannot do that, right? It will just show you the error. Now, let's say here you just take B. So, in B, what you can just store? You can just store a string. You cannot just put a comma and store an uh, integer also. You cannot just put a comma and store a float value also, right? You cannot just do that thing. But list is a type of data type which allows you to do this thing, right? Whenever you just declare a list, so that means that basically you can store different data types in a particular variable and whenever you are just going to do that, that will always be called as a list. Okay, so this is the definition for list, right? Now, just let me uh, tell you that basically how you just denote the list. So whenever you see something written inside this curly brackets, different data types written inside these large brackets. These are not the curly. I'm sorry for that. These are the large brackets. Okay. You can just call it large brackets or you can just call it as big brackets, right? So whenever you just see this thing, something like this, that multiple data types are written inside a particular, inside a single big bracket or large bracket, then that is always being called as a list. Okay. So whenever you just want to declare a list, so you need to make this very, uh, make, make this bracket and inside these brackets, you need to put the values, whether it is a string or integer or float or any data type, whichever you want, fine. This is basically how you just denote a list. So let me just give you an example uh, while writing here and then we just move toward the PyCharm ID for the practical, okay? Fine, so let's say I just take, took a variable that is A. Now I just want to declare a list. So I would just put these brackets. Now inside this bracket, I can just store any data type. Let's say I just store a string. I would store a float value. I just want to store some integer. I would again want to store some string and all that things, right? I would I just store a let's say integer and all that things right so this is the procedure that basically if you just want to store multiple data types in a single variable so list are always used in that case right now this is the pycharm right i just mentioned that we'll be working on a pycharm id so this is my pycharm id and here i would be just telling you that basically how you can just declare a list okay now i would just take the same example which i have taken previously in the one node so basically here i've just taken a variable and that is a okay now in this particular variable what i am going to do is that i'm going to store multiple data types as i'm going to declare a list so for that i have just put these big brackets okay now here i would be just putting some code and i would just write a character i would define an integer value i would define a let's say float value i even define let's say one more integer let's say that is uh, let's say okay n and even i would just define some more float values and some integer values and okay let's say this these are the values which i have just assigned right now my variable and that is lay now here what i have done i have declared a list i have made a list here okay so 
whenever you are taking a single variable and in that single variable you are just assigning different different uh, data types you're just storing different data types so that is always called as a list so i'll just put a comment here and here i would just like write that this is a list okay now coming downside i just want to print okay so what i would just write i would just write print and then a okay so as soon as i just run this it will just result me the whole list so i'll just run this one and yeah so you can just see the output actually i just got my list whatever i have just entered here fine so this is the procedure that basically you want to uh, like store a list you just want to make a list so this is the way that you ha how you're just going to do that thing okay now one more thing just here only that if you, if you just want to access any particular element of your list then how you're just going to do that thing if i just write print my variable name and let's say i just want to access my first element okay and i have just given the value here in the bracket i will index as a now what it is showing me it is showing me the output as 32 so basically in the list also the procedure follows that a would be having the index as 0 32 would be having the index as 1 56.2 would be having the index as 2 then 3 then 4 and then 5 it basically goes up to n whatever the values you have taken right but the crux main part of this uh, of this thing which i just told you right now is that it basically starts from 0 okay and here if it is declare some words or something like that so in that case also each character is not having its own index okay when you just separate the values using the commas so those values or those characters those words are having their own index the characters if you are just let's say you just wrote a word let's say here i just wrote uh let's say here i would just write as let's say python okay p-y-t-h-o-n now if i am just gonna access the zeroth index so in that case i would be getting my whole word that is python i would not only be getting as p here c here i just got whole python just let me show you that thing right so why because this all is having the index as zero now this is having one this is having two so here individual characters or individual numbers do not have their own index the whole index comes in the form of a group okay so I hope you just got the idea that firstly how to declare a list and secondly if you just want to access any particular element from a list then basically how you can just do that thing right so i would just stop for here for now and basically in the next video we will just learn some more functions about the list okay so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care